On This Fit Life, if you got a little pain in your neck and your back, maybe in your hips, there might be a surprising source. Katie O'Quinn, Sumit's Hot Yoga is here to talk to us about that. And wh what's the deal? What's going on here? Well, the psoas muscle is mm. a tricksy one. It attaches in your low back, comes up over your hip bones, and then attaches down in your groin. So it actually attaches the upper and the low body. And if you imagine, if one side is tighter than the other, it's going to create a little torque in the hips, which is going to, the body's going to try to balance that out. And that could translate into neck pain, knee pain, or all kinds of different feelings. So our goal today is to kind of warm up, stretch, and balance the psoas muscle. Okay, so what are, what's the first move We're just here? gonna start by stepping the right foot forward. Right foot. And you just wiggle those toes forward until your right knee is on top of your right ankle. And then we are gonna walk the hands forward and you might utilize blocks or some kind of prop. Pop okay. up on the back toes, lift the back knee, or keep it down if you need to. And all I want you to do is start to draw circles with your hips. And they circles. Don't, they don't have to be big, they don't have to be fast, but I want you in control of the movement and the breath just keeps flowing. Now, if you're doing this at home, I want you to do at least 10 rotations, but we're going to stop and we're going to go the other direction just for the sake of time. Okay. And what happens is you really start to heat up the hip flexor, the psoas, and release some of that synovial fluid, that's joint lube. So come to a complete stop, left, a right knee on top of right ankle, drop left knee, Okay. sink through the hips, tailbone gets a little bit longer, draw your belly in and up and reach out through your heart. All right, I feel that mostly in the hamstring. In the hamstring, on the right? On the right. Okay. Is that where I'm supposed to feel it? You can feel it there. That's not, <laughs> wrong. That's not wrong. Okay. All right, now we're going to rock back. We'll ditch our blocks and we'll come back into a tabletop. So right knee meets the left and you just shift forward, lie down on your belly. Okay. Sweep that left knee out in line with your left hip. Wiggle it away from center. Wiggle the right hip away from center. Okay. And then there are a couple different ways you can do this. If you find that this is feeling really tight or this right or left hip is floating up in outer space, you would simply make a little nest for your head and put your forehead down or look to one side or the other. If you feel pretty good and your hips look pretty level, so I would offer this to you, we're going to bring the forearms to the front of the mat, elbows beneath the shoulders, plant the palms, mm -hmm. drive through the fingertips, and as you inhale, try to pull your belly button through your biceps, shoulders away from the ears. And this is just a pretty passive stretch for that psoas. And after about a five to 10 breath hold, you just start to softly lower down. The forehead will touch. Bend the right knee, slide the left foot back to meet the left, keeping the forehead down. Bend your knees, point your toes to the sky, and then just windshield wiper those shins side to side. Oh. Like you're wiping the rain away. Yeah, or the pain away. Ah, you're good. <laughs> there we go. That's All it. All right. So a couple of ways you can wipe the pain away. Yes. Katie O'Quinn, Sumit's Hot Yoga on this Fit Life.